when I was young, my mom used to paint pillowcases, and it was a time when I said to, you know, give me a paintbrush so I can join her. But she was kind of like, you know, nah. Maybe she was afraid that I might damage her stuff, you know, mess up her paints and all that. From there, I decided to draw animations, referencing stuff that we used to watch on television when I was young. Yeah. When I was on my way to Limpopo, I had like works on paper and canvas. You know, I used to use public transport. So people on transport stepped on my work and it had holes in it and I was so hurt. Then this other time while I was at home, I decided to just go to the nearest shops and uh, that's where I found this blanket. Um, my, I, I enjoy, you know, the contrast you get when you use the two colors, black and white. The way I layer them, I, I don't paint white into white. I put paint, wet paint, wait for it to dry, then put another one, wait, to, wait for it to dry. And I'm not interested in color, it's just, <laughs> it's not my thing. The landscape, Wakeotora, which is a spady saying, it means the fall is the rise. With regard to the landscape, I'm just trying to capture that moment where people are just hopeless and they don't know where to go. And I'm just reminding them that your fall should not be your fall. Like the sun, in the morning you must get up. I don't care about details, as long as I can capture that mood. I consider myself a vessel in time. The stuff that I create is not just beautiful stuff. It's a way to, to sort of like commemorate those who passed on and preserve knowledge for the next generation so that they can better their lives.